The second generation Volvo XC90 debuted in August 2014, and the first cars rolled off the assembly line in February 2015. The car is absolutely not like its predecessor, they do not have a single common body part, although the continuity of generations has been preserved. Only two liter turbo engines are put on the new crossover, goodbye R6 and V8. These are two gasoline fours with a capacity of 249 and 320 forces, which are respectively designated T5 and TB. Diesel engines are represented by a pair of four cylinder engines D4 190 horsepower and D5 235 horsepower. We sell only all wheel drive modifications with the fifth generation Haldex clutch, which connects the rear wheels when the front wheels slip. The Swedish crossover has been produced since 2002 and the oldest copies are sold for less than 300,000 rubles. And it is not at all necessary that for this money you will be offered a wreck in a dying state. However, we still strongly advise you to take a car more recent. The older the car, the more unplanned expenses will be in the future. We recommend taking the car after the first restyling, to which most of the congenital sores have already been cured. The first Volvo XC90S were equipped with a pair of gasoline turbo engines and a diesel engine which were designated T5, 2.5L, 210 horsepower, TB, twin supercharged, 2.9L, 272 horsepower, and D5, 2.4L, 163 horsepower. With the restyling of 2006 Reptile brought an increase in turbo diesel power to 185 horsepower, and the TB turbo engine gave way to an atmospheric 3.2 liter, 6, with a capacity of 243 horsepower. There was also a top-end petrol V8 with a volume of 4.4 liters and a return of 315 horses. Even if the V8 crossover turns out to be in perfect condition, think a hundred times before striking hands with the seller. Better yet, do a full engine diagnostic. The resulting report will certainly discourage the deal. For the same reasons, six-cylinder versions should be treated with caution. On machines with such powerful motors, as a rule, they do not drive slowly. Therefore, only inline fives remain. They are considered the most reliable and easy to use. Moreover, diesel engines are more durable than gasoline ones. However, this does not mean at all that you will not have to spend money on repairs. Injectors, 9,800 to 15,000 rubles, for injection on both versions take care of 150,000 kilometers. The turbine, from 68,000 rubles, begins to leak closer to 160 to 200,000 kilometers. The fuel pump also lasts the same amount, from 44,000 rubles. However, our craftsmen learned how to repair these nodes using repair kits. In our country, cars with mechanics, as well as with front-wheel drive, were not officially sold. All versions of the XC90 relied on the 5-speed automatic Eisen, which was later replaced by a 6-speed version. It was also installed on a diesel engine, and the automatic GM4T65 relied on more powerful engines. It withstands a higher torque, but was inferior to Japanese units in terms of reliability. On the other hand, the Hulk's coupling is sure to last under normal use and regular service. The suspension is reliable, unless you have to change the hub bearings every 50 to 80,000 kilometers, and the rear ones fly more often. Racks and bushings of stabilizers withstand about the same amount. With age, the rear brake mechanisms turn sour, the steering rack begins to tap. However, all these components can be successfully and inexpensively repaired. The main thing is to make a complete diagnosis when buying. Modifications The first generation of the crossover started with a T5 petrol modification, which implies a 2.5-liter 5-cylinder inline turbocharged engine with a capacity of 210 horsepower. These versions now account for nearly 70% of secondary sales. Just before the restyling at the end of 2005, the top version of the XC9Q appeared with a 4.4-liter 315-horsepower V8. Transmission Over time, the seals of the drives and the front gearbox are leaking, the Haldex electromagnetic clutch may whistle. Oil in which changes every 60,000 kilometers. With the same frequency, the oil in the automatic machines is updated. The outboard bearing can withstand over 150,000 kilometers, but changes along with the cart and shaft. Engine among the entire range of engines, R5 is preferable, both gasoline and diesel. Inline, 6s, and V8s are not only more capricious, but also much more expensive to operate.
On both engines, the timing belt is prescribed to be changed every 90,000 kilometers. The operation is quite expensive, and every second replacement takes place along with rollers, tensioners, and a water pump. Suspension. At each MOT, it is recommended to lubricate and develop the rear levers, which regulate the camber and toe angles. Otherwise, at the next collapse walking, they will have to be replaced with new ones. In the chassis, the bearings of the rear hubs, which are assembled with the hub, do not differ in durability. At the same time, the front ones last two to three times longer. Body. The Scandinavian crossover is perfectly protected from corrosion. Rust shows through with age on the thresholds, wheel arches, and junctions of steel with aluminum or plastic. Over the years, a red plaque can appear from the fifth door to the seats. License plate mounts. Also check the attachment points of the front spars and subframe. The welds here can part. Electric. It suffers mainly due to the ingress of dirt and moisture, when the seals and seals of the electronic connectors of the blocks lose their tightness. It is also necessary to ensure that the drainage holes are not clogged with fallen leaves and other objects. Otherwise, it will flood the electronic units and relays located in the engine compartment.